Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, AKA Carnivore Chef. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to clean a beef tenderloin. I've actually been wanting to do this one for a long time considering I work in a restaurant that sells filet mignon and we clean ours by hand. It just seemed fitting to kind of get it closer to Christmas. So I kind of waited until now. I hope it kind of helps you out whenever you go buy your expensive package of beef tenderloin. Just gives you a little more knowledge on how to clean things up, make them look a little bit better for the people you're feeding. And before we get started, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment below, share the video, and let me know if this helped you out. So why don't we get started? Okay, whenever you go buy a beef tenderloin at the store, it's gonna come in a big package like this. All you're gonna need is a cutting board and preferably a boning or some sort of fillet knife. Let's start off with the chain. Once you have our tenderloin out of the package, let's grab some paper towels and dry it off pretty well. If you look here, there's a big seam that you can actually put your fingers in between. If you can't feel it, just cut the silver skin that's attaching it, but honestly, you can almost pull the entire chain off without even having to cut it. There's probably one quarter of it that you need to cut. Now, this is actually still usable meat. It's just got a lot of silver skin and connective tissue in between it. Just don't toss it. It's got plenty of mileage left on her. Next up is the head. The head is attached to the loin across from the chain. It's just not actually attached to the chain as well, but separated by fat and sinew. Just like the chain, you're going to look for some seams under the body of the tenderloin and start to separate. If you flip the whole thing around, you can get a pretty good idea of where you need to start cutting. So just pick it up and start slicing through like so. I like to go through until I get to the very edge of the silver skin and leave most of that on the loin. Now we can clean this thing up. There's really not a whole lot to say about how to clean the head of a beef tenderloin. There's a few areas with silver skin and you'll lose some meat because of them, but that still doesn't mean you should throw away that meat. You can still clean that up and save it for your dogs. But what I like to start with is just pulling off any loose fat that you can feed to the raccoons. The biggest piece of silver skin is right here and it actually goes through another piece of the meat which you'll likely lose, but you can feed that to the cats later. I don't want to spend too much time talking about how to clean the head because it honestly doesn't feel like it matters as much as the loin section. But with that said, you can use this for more fillets or putting it in your grandmother's chair. I did end up with three nice sized steaks, however. Now we can focus on the loin. This is where we get our filet mignon. I like to start off with the silver skin. All you're going to do is cut under at the edge of the tail and then cut across with your knife while putting pressure up against it and slicing through. I didn't put quite enough pressure on mine and lost some of the meat. Or you can do it this way, which is cut on a flat piece, pull it up and scrape down the meat. This is what I usually end up doing. The only thing is I left with these little ridges, but you could just push those down. I also like to remove about an inch or so of the tail ends. They never really work out into a steak, but are excellent scraps to feed your cow. On the opposite of this tail end is a big section of silver skin with some meat still attached to it. In my experience, this isn't always here, but it almost always feels like a second part of the chain. It's still usable meat, but it won't work in my fillets. So I usually just cut it off and save it with a chain. Just continue pulling off any loose fat that you may see on here and looking for more silver skin. Like, here's a little piece that gets hidden sometimes, and that just happened to be sticking out, so I noticed it and removed it. It is a pretty thick piece, so if you see this sticking out, go ahead and get it out of there. I try not to cut the fat sections off where the ribs were, but sometimes there's just some unavoidable silver there, so I cut some of it off. I try to leave as much as possible because it's such a lean meat that every little bit of fat helps add flavor to it. I'm shooting for six ounce portions. You can cut yours into whatever you want, obviously. So to butterfly the first one, just cut off a section at the end, cut a third of the way through the steak on the thicker side to at least three quarters of the way through the entire steak. Then fold it and round it out. After that one, we could continue with our steaks until I get to the other side, and I'll usually have to butterfly it as well. On occasion, like this one, I ended up with a little bit of excess at the end that I will add to my scrap pile. Don't forget that this is all perfectly good meat that you can use to power a rocket. So out of a seven pound-ish beef tenderloin, I was able to get 13 six to seven ounce steaks with about one and a half pounds of scraps. Not bad. And that is it. This probably takes me 15 to 20 minutes now. It may take you about 30 minutes. It's really just, like I said, it's all up to you on how clean you get it. I really think the biggest thing is just finding any silver skin that you can find because nobody wants to be cutting into something so soft and then buying into something so chewy. And you can save these tendons as well. Don't, don't think you have to throw those away. Feel free to save them, cook them in your bone broth, and it'll take a very long time to cook down until they're, you know, kind of not chewy. But they're actually very good. I've had tendon and pho before, things like that, these Vietnamese soup. It's actually pretty good. It's really good for you, actually. So uh, don't, don't think any of this is going to be garbage. But hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.